In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how I built this visualization that you see here that includes a background image, some objects that I had to customize the location of, and then it also contains images inside of donut charts. To start, what I had to do was I had to create an image for the table that they sit around at the data school, and then I just simply saved that picture to a specific folder. So I'm going to go ahead and save this to uh, the folder that I need. I'm going to call it my data school desk and save it. And then I also created individual circular pictures for each of the, uh, each of the consultants, and I saved each of those to under my Tableau repository in the shapes folder. I created another folder called data school and saved each of the um, each of the consultants there. So you see I've got Emily, Hash, etc. Okay, so great. So now what I need to do is I need to go ahead and start building the visualization. But first let's take a quick look at the data set. So you can see here I've got each of their names, the seat they prefer, and the seats go uh, clockwise from the bottom right, so one Pablo is one, Sasha two, etc., all the way around to Damiana at seat number eight, and then the average time they spent in that seat, or the or that that's their their preferred seat. So how much time they spent in their preferred seat? So I've gone ahead and connected to that data source inside of Tableau, and what I need to do is I need to essentially create an X and Y to know how to place each of those people. So to start. Um, what I like to do is I'm going to hover over, let's say, Damiani, or I'm sorry, over uh, Emily here. And, and if I look at the ruler on the, uh, on, in, in PowerPoint, you can see she's located at about uh, positive 6 and uh, negative 8 position. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just, I'm just going to start building a, a, out the, uh, the x and the y values. So I'm going to create a calculated field called x. And I'm going to do case, their name, when it is Emily, then I want the x value to be something like, uh, looks like she should be around a negative 8. So in PowerPoint it goes from 0 and then it's positive on either side of the 0. So she's at about a negative 8 on the, on the, uh, the x axis. Okay, so I'm going to put minus 8. When it is Nico, then he's going to be at around, uh, let's say, about a negative two and a half. And right for now, I'm just trying to get some approximations in there. When it when the name is Alex, then I want the value to be around, uh, let's say. So it looks like these two are separated by five and a half. So if I add five and a half, we'll just say two point five. And then when it's Damiana, Damiana, then uh, we're going to put her at positive 8. And then basically I need to just duplicate these. So then we're going to have Ravi, Hash, Sasha, and Pablo. And then put an end. OK, so that's going to be our x values. And then I'm going to duplicate that and create the y. OK, so the, the y values. So what are we going to do for the y? So Emily looks like she's at about a negative uh, 5 and a, or a positive 5 and a half. So let's start there. So Emily will be about a minus 5.5. I'm sorry, a positive 5.5, which means that Ravi would be at a negative 5.5 because he's down below 0. And then it looks like uh, Nico is around a around six and a half. So let's put Nico at positive six and a half, which means hash is at negative six and a half. And it looks like they're being separated by uh, by one. So we'll make seven and a half for Alex, and eight and a half for Damiana. Oops. And then this would be negative seven and a half for Sasha and negative eight and a half for Pablo. Okay, so if I put my x and my y, and then go ahead and put this, the names on the detail, 
you can see I've got, you know, kind of rough positions here. So it looks like uh, Nico is not showing up. So let's double check my data set here. So let's, uh, let's describe these and look at the name. So it's just Nico, not Nicolo. So let me edit my calculation. So it's just Nico. And then under my Y, I also need to fix that. So it's just Nico. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're looking good so far, um, but now we wanna add the background image. So I'm going to go ahead and go under map, background images and seating. Click on add image, and I'm gonna browse to the table. So it's called our uh, data school desk. And I have to move this out of the way for some reason. And it looks like we want our left to be around a negative 11 and a positive 11 and our, our y, so, and I'm getting those values from here, so we look like we're going from about a negative 11, and then it looks like we're going from about a, maybe a six and a half to a minus six and a half. So the bottom will be minus 6.5, and the top will be 6.5. Okay, awesome. So we've got the makings of a table so far, so that's real, real neat that we can go ahead and add the background images like that. So, uh, so now what we need to do is we need to build out the donuts. So let's go ahead and uh, let's make these uh, pie charts. And on the pie charts, let's go ahead and make them a little bit bigger. There we go, something like that. Okay, maybe something around there. And I want, uh, I want the percent of time to be on the, actually I want measure names to be uh, on the filter and I just want to use my percent of time and my percent of other and I want those to be on color and then I want measure values to be on my angle okay so we got something like that and uh, I want percent of time to be first and then I'm going to change the colors and I want my color of my uh, my first one to be equal to the, the blue from the data school. And then I want the second one to maybe just be maybe like a medium gray or something like that. Okay, so we're good so far. Uh, so from this point, what I need to do is um, it, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate, uh, duplicate this field and make it dual axis. Okay, and then on my second pi, or actually I need to make sure I synchronize them. And then on my second pi, I don't actually want it to be pi, I just want it to be a shape. And then my shapes, in this case, I'm gonna remove measure names, my shapes are gonna be my names. All right, so then I go down to my shape shelf, go to my uh, data school here, and I'm just gonna start assigning the circles, so Alex, Damiana, Emily, Hash, Nico, Pablo, Ravi, and Sasha. Hit OK. And it looks like maybe I need to make them a little bit smaller so they're inside the donuts. All right, so that is pretty cool. OK, so um, what we need to do is probably go over here to the pies and, and make them bigger. Maybe let's just make them as big as they'll go. Nah, we don't want them that big. Okay, there we go. Uh, we need to get it just right. All right, so it looks like I need to extend my scale out on my table here. So why don't I go ahead and fix this to go from minus 11 to 11 on my X. And then let's, oops, wrong one here. And then we want our Y to go from minus eight and a half to eight and a half. But now Damiana's covered up, so that's not quite that good. So let's extend this out a little bit and maybe make it minus 11 to 11. And did that help us at all? Okay, so we're good so far. So the problem now is um, it looks like these images are not quite uh, in, you know, on the same angle as the table. So you can see Emily is a little bit closer to the edge of the table than Damiana. So a way that I like to find the exact point where I, wait, where I want to place them is I will right click in the, on the, the white area in the viz and just do annotate point. 
and it'll just give me the X and the Y. And then I can, oops, I didn't want to do that. I can just take this and sort of move it around and get it out of the way. And now I can use this endpoint to actually specify exactly where I, I want this to go. So let's say that um, I want uh, Damiana to be, it looks like, so she, right now she's around uh, minus eight um, uh, on, on the, or she's around eight on the X and the Y. Uh, why don't we move her up a little bit, maybe around to like nine, something like that. So you can use sort of the, the annotate point to sort of figure out exactly where you want to place her. So now if I go back in here and I edit Damiana, and I want her to be on the X, I want her to be at eight. Okay, so that's still okay. But on the Y, I now want her to be at nine. And say okay. And you'll see now she moved up a little bit. Okay, so it looks like we've, we need to probably move Alex up maybe around, uh, so he, he looks like he's okay as far as kind of the, the, the left to right there. Uh, maybe, maybe not quite, so uh, maybe we want him to be around, maybe around the three mark and maybe around like 8.3 or something like that. So let's go back here and edit Alex. And we want Alex on the X to be Maybe uh, let's have Alex as uh, an 8.3. Uh, I'm sorry, on the X, we want Alex to be around 3. You see he moved over there, that's, so that's nice. And then on the Y, I want Alex to be uh, at uh, 8.3. Say OK. All right, so now those look like they're about the same space from the edge of the table. So good, so now I can probably just take the math between these two and apply that to Nico and Emily. So if I go back into my X, uh, Emily is going to be, uh, or actually let's do Nico next. So Damiana is five from Alex. Uh, so I wanna subtract five from three, which gives us minus two. And then we want Emily to be um, five from that, which would be minus seven. And then our, we're going to be the opposite for the folks down below because we want them to be lined up by the X. So this would be minus eight, hash would be at minus three, and then two, and then seven. Okay, so everybody's nice and, and spaced evenly now, and now we need to fix the spacing on the Y for uh, Emily. So Nico, uh, let's see, so Alex is 0.7 from Damiana. So I want to subtract 0.7 from 8.3, which gets me to 7.6. And then I want to subtract 0.7 from that, which gets me to 6.9. Okay, so then uh, let's, uh, what we want to do for Pablo, Sasha, Nico, and Ravi is Pablo is going to be at around 8.3. So he's going to, we're going to have to not quite offset him as much and then subtract 0.7 from that, which gets us to minus 7.6, minus 6.9, and then minus 6.2. Okay, oops, sorry, I messed that up there. I messed up hash. So hash needs to be at a uh, minus 6.9, not a minus of a minus. Okay, so it looks like we've got some alignment issues here because Emily is at uh, x of minus seven and Ravi's at x, oh, I forgot to update the x's for the, the bottom four. So these should be, um, so Pablo should be at eight, Sasha should be at three, minus two, and minus seven. Okay, there we go, excellent. All right, so now I can remove this. And uh, basically what we want to do now is where we're pretty close to done. Um, I just need to go ahead and add in the uh, labels. So on my labels for my pie, let's just go ahead and turn the labels on. And uh, really, actually, I don't want my, I want my labels to be on, but the only one I want to show is the percent of time on the, on the, on the pie. Uh, and then, um, but I, don't want to show, let's see here, so that's not quite what I'm looking for. Um, okay, and then I want to also show their name. 
Okay, very good. All right, so uh, it looks like uh, we, so why is it showing us all of these names? That's not quite what I was hoping for. Okay, so let's just take the name and put that on the label, and there we go. Okay, so now I need to click on color and remove the halo, because you can see that the names have this halo behind them, so I'm gonna choose none there. And then maybe I want the font for the label to be maybe a little bit bigger. So let's maybe make it 14 or 12. Let's do about 12. And then for the color of the font, I want it to be equivalent to the same color that is in the name there. Okay, so we've got Damiana there. And then maybe we could add in, um, let's see. Let's do percent of time on the label. And you can see that now we've got each of them labeled, but I don't want it to be quite like that. I want the percent of time to be actually in parentheses after each name. Okay, but our, our, we don't need them to be that precise. They can be rounded. So I'm going to change the default properties for my percent of time to be zero decimals. Okay, there we go. And then from there, it's just a matter of hiding the headers. and then removing some, uh, going into format, removing the zero lines, and then maybe cleaning up the row and column dividers because I don't really need those in there. And there we go. So, you know, from here I could maybe play around with the size a little bit. Maybe I want the pies to be just ever so slightly bigger. It takes a little while to get them just right. Uh, maybe like that, okay and then I go to their pictures and make their pictures slightly bigger. Uh, maybe not quite that big. Uh, you know, you, you just kind of play around with it until you get it to exactly the size that you like. So there we go. So learn lots of things here. We talked about background images, um, how to annotate a point to get the objects just the way you want them, and then how to put images inside of pies. So a little bit of a long tip today, but hopefully Hopefully you learned something and uh, you can uh, take something from this and, and apply it to something you're doing. All right, have a great day.